Welcome to Sobi IT. This is Mustafa Sobi, and this is the second episode of working with the KuCoin API using Node.js. So after lots of failing and experimenting, I finally figured some stuff out, and I'm ready to share what I learned, and hopefully that helps you out. So if we go to the GitHub for KuCoin Node SDK, which you can get to by just Googling KuCoin Developer API, and um, if you just search Node.js here, you'll see the Node.js SDK. And once you click that, it takes you to this GitHub link. So if you remember, we already installed this on our device. And if you go over to demo and you go to index.js, here is a piece of code we'll need to be using pretty soon. So go ahead and open VS Code like I have here and go ahead and create a new project. OK. And once you've figured out where you want to install your new project, go ahead and hit open. And then we'll just start with a new file. And we will start with copying over all this code from index.js from GitHub. Okay, and then go ahead and click save. And then we'll just name it index.js. Okay, so that's our first file. And first thing you're going to need to do is rename this over here. We'll call it KuCoin. Oops. KuCoin node SDK. And now we're all good with this file. Now we're going to create, as you can see, this that forward slash config will need to create a new file called config.js. And we can get the skeleton for that from here. Okay, and actually this is not the link we want to use. The link we want to use is going to be https api.kucoin.com. Okay, so these two should be good to go. So basically what's going on is first we're taking in the module for KuCoin Node SDK. And then we are going to initialize our API, which is what we're taking in here, with the configs that we have in this file. So over here in this file, we have a base URL that's going to be the website. So you can use the sandbox website, not not this link exactly, but KuCoin does have a sandbox website, and um, <clears throat> that one can work if you do, if you're just doing some basic testing. So we can even use that right now. So we just do open API dash sandbox, and we're going to be using .com. I'm not sure why we can't use .io, but I know that .com works. And uh, for the authentication, right now, we don't need to fill these out because some of the some of the functions that we're going to be running won't require us to be signed in to the API. But later on, if there's anything account specific, then we will need to be signed in with our API and I'll go over how to do that later. So going back to here, we have our main function. And in here, we have a simple git timestamp RL. And it's a it's a API a REST API call, and uh, it's just doing a git, git timestamp. So this is like one of the simplest things you can do. So now we're ready to go ahead and run our index.js file. You can do that just by running it here. I assume you have Code Runner installed, by the way. If not, then simply just go to the extensions and search uh, Code Runner, this one here. Just install it. it. Runs pretty much everything you can think of on VS Code. Okay. Thereafter, you, okay, so you can see that once we ran this, we have the timestamp here, and then we have an error error message here. So this here is the response from this console.log, which is printing out this variable. And this here, this console.log, is resulting in this. So why do we have an error for the second part? Well, for this, we're doing an api.rest.user.deposit.getDeposit address for BTC. So what that should return is our Bitcoin address for our account, uh, for deposits specifically. And since we're not logged in because we don't have the API key over here, it's just empty, we cannot access the information now, which is why this has that KC API key not exists. So we're going to need to create an API key. So how are we going to do that? Well, we'll go back to our browser and we'll go into our account and you can simply Hover over here and then go to API management. 
and then it should take you here once you click create API and basically you can just name your API so just call it you know my KuCoin API okay whatever it is and then we'll put a password for it so like whatever it might be and then we'll just set the restrictions for it we'll start with general and we'll start with only this trusted IP address can connect okay and uh, just add your you can just copy your IP from here and then just paste it in and uh, that way only your computer can connect to this API and connect to your KuCoin account so going back here I'm going to go ahead and fill out my API information so once you create that API key you're going to need to come back here and fill in your key secret and passphrase make sure you write down your secret or else it'll be lost forever in case you need to change something so before we do that though we need to fix this so we need to switch to api.kucoin.com and the reason for that is we didn't create a api key for the sandbox kucoin website we created it for the regular kucoin website so now when i fill these these things in right over here i'm going to save this and go back to the index.js file okay so i'm back at the index.js file and i just filled in my api key secret and passphrase in the config.js file now if i go ahead and run it we should see it successfully returns my bitcoin address feel free to send bitcoin i'm kidding uh, you can see here the code for that is a 200 which is in this case a success and um uh you see we're talking about the bitcoin chain over here and the memo and contact address doesn't have any information in it right now so that's about it and that was just the basic tutorial for getting started with the basics of this and uh, later on we'll get into more of the complexities and the things we can start to do with this as long as this is working you're ready to move on to the next step thanks for watching